Hey everyone, it's Paul from Alexander Knife Sharpen and Laser Engraving. Job just came in and this is kind of pretty typical for what happens with a lot of laser engraving. It's one of the things that I'm, I'm slowly starting to get comfortable with, but it, it's one of those things that I'm still not entirely comfortable with, but I am going to do this one. I hope it works out well. Uh, the guy was pretty cool and he understood that this is very last minute. He needs this today. He needed me to do the design, but it was such a simple thing. So he wanted this little guy here with the word to, and on the backside from with this little guy here, put on a Zippo lighter. Now, unfortunately he brought me a mirrored Zippo lighter. I wish he had brought me a like brushed stainless one, but he didn't. He brought me this mirrored one. So I don't know exactly how that's going to laser engrave. And I also had to make the design because we had two options here. I could have scanned what he sketched and he did want it to look somewhat like a kid, but he's like, eh, I kind of would like it cleaned up a little bit. So I'll show you what I did is I took what he gave me there. So here's the one guy and I made one. And then he wanted the other guy for the other side. And I just did that on another page on my laser. So I'll just flip over to the other page. And here's my other guy. Okay. And you can see that one. And let's compare it to his drawing. And he wanted to, he said he wanted the writing to look like it came from a kid. So there's one called Bradley in Mac software that looks like a kid wrote it. So I used the from from Bradley and made the little guy. Now, the reason it's important to do the little guys sometimes yourself. So what I did here is I was able to make them a little bit thicker. So I had to make, what I did with all these is I made, I took a triangle and then I made a second triangle, put it inside of it and then fused them together. And that's how I got these little, you know, like slightly thicker lines of everything there to be able to kind of draw these little guys out that he wanted. So I have both of them drawn out. My only concern is going to be the settings for the Zippo. It's kind of surprising, but I haven't engraved the Zippo before. I would have thought I, you know, just until he uh, brought it in here, I was like, wow, you know, what? I've never been asked to do a lighter, but I guess a lot less people smoke nowadays. So maybe it's just not as, as popular as it used to be, but that's how I did. So you can see here, this is like my, my beginning of my drawing. You can see I colored all the parts so that if I have to go in and make anything a little bit bigger, a little thicker, a little thinner, I can change them and move them around. And then I put the guy all together and then fused it as one piece. And that's how I did that. So about 15, 20 minutes worth of work there. Uh, it, you know, if it had been some super elaborate design, I probably would have turned it down. Let's see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is I just want to make sure that this thing is going to look good and okay on the Zippo. So I'm going to do an engraving about the size that I'm going to put it on the Zippo. So the two is going to go up top here and then the little guy is going to go here and then same thing on the opposite side this one's going to be from with the the other guy on the other side so let's see i'm going to zero this out i want to just get a good idea of what i got to work with here and it's probably about a square box of somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters for the bottom square. So I want to make sure a little bit of a rush. Today is actually my birthday. It's my 57th birthday today. So I'm going to turn this guy off. I'm coming up here. We're going to shut the output on that guy completely off. And then we're going to take this guy. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to change this to black. And I'm going to turn that off too, because that's going to be easy to place. I'm not concerned about that. It's this one here. So we got our output on there. This is going to be fiber. I'm going to do it on a business card first, even though it's not mirrored, but just to, I just want to see that it looks correct. I want to make sure that everything looks good. Computer screen, and I saw, I apologize for 
not doing the screen recording. So we're going to do a test engraving for him. And I'm going to come over here to the fiber and I'm hitting frame. And we should just see a little square box, which we do. You can see where my engraving should be. All right. I'm going to start my ventilation system. I'm going to close the hood and I am going to do a very quick engraving here. Okay, so I time lapse this for you so that you wouldn't have to sit through the whole time waiting. And I like it, but I want to make the guy on the right a little bit uh, fatter. So I'm going to thicken those lines a little bit. And I actually want to make the triangle guy a little bit skinnier and have them close to being exactly the same size. So just a, my, a couple minor corrections that I'm going to go back into the computer and do. And then we will get on with the final engraving. So here's what I settled on. I was pretty happy with this and I am ready to move on. And then here's just a quick look again at what I was given and we will uh, continue on. So I'm just going to add the from in. I used a font called Bradley, which looks like little kid writing since he wanted it to look like a kid used it. And I already did the two here in this spot. And then you will see I start to do the rest of the engraving. Now, this was one I had to kind of guess at what the settings were. So I used my regular stainless steel settings that I really like, but I also defocused my laser by three degrees. And it worked out really perfect on this black mirrored Zippo lighter. It, it had a like white engraving and it did not burn or cut into the lighter, it was uh, surface marked nice and smooth because I, I didn't want it to uh, burn into the into the metal or vaporize any metal. I just wanted it to like permanently mark it. And that's exactly what happened. I couldn't have been happier with the results I got having to basically just guess at what I thought the best settings would be for this. So then I simply flipped the lighter over. Since I had a jig set, I was all ready to go. All I had to do was bring in the artwork for the other side. And what I decided to do here was I copied it from the other page. And then I just brought it to the same spots where I had the other artwork, which I made it really easy for me to size it to the same size. And then I just put them right in the spots where the other two engravings were, and I was good to go. Once I had those in place, I just simply moved the first engraving out of the way. Then in XCS software, I just made sure I turned output on the old graphics to the off position so it wouldn't print. And then all I had to do is simply click start and print the other side of the later. And I was all done. And here's a nice slow look at each side of the engraving. You can see how nice it came out. What I really liked about it was that I defocused it so it did not like scratch up the surface at all. It was in there and it's permanent, but it looked really good. And here is the back of the Zippo in case you're interested in a Zippo like this. It's a black ice Zippo and you can get them on Amazon. I will put a link in the description for anyone interested. And I will also put the settings that I used for the lighter in the description of the video for anyone who has an X-Tool F1 or a 20 watt laser. Most 20 watt lasers would probably be very close to the same settings.